guys, let me pull up this really quick. So today we're going to be multiplying fractions and figuring out when to know to do that in a word problem. So our first one says Hillary needs three-fourths of a pound of butter to make caramel bars. Caramel bars, caramel, caramel. She is having a family reunion next week and wants to make 13 batches of caramel bars. How many pounds of butter will she need? So we need each batch uses three-fourths pounds of butter. And she wants to make 13 batches. So we need to multiply 3 fourths times 13. So remember when you multiply or divide fractions, the denominators do not need to be the same. So if you have a whole number times a fraction, all you need to do is make your whole number into a fraction by putting it over 1. So now I have 13 over 1 times 3 fourths. And now all you need to do is multiply straight across. 13 times 3 is 39. And then 1 times 4 is 4. So this is an improper fraction. Before you change it into a mixed number, I want you to look at your answer choices um, when you're taking an NC check-in. And make sure um, that this answer is not on there. Because if this answer is on there, choose that answer choice. But if it's not, that means you need to change it into a mixed number. Sometimes they'll leave the answer choices as improper fractions. But if they don't, then you'll need to change it into a mixed number. So we need to figure out how many times 4 goes into 39. So we can set that up with long division. 4 goes into 3, 0 times because 4 is bigger than 3. 4 goes into 39, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. So it can't go in 10 times, so it can only go in 9. So 9 times 4 is 36. Subtract those and get 3. So with this long division, this tells me that my big number, my whole number, is 9. My remainder is, becomes my numerator, and I keep my original denominator of 4. So 9 and 3 fourths would be your answer. This can, 3 fourths can't be simplified because they both can't be divided by the same thing, so that would be your final answer, be 9 and 3 fourths. All right, so Lily and Eve are collecting seashells. Lily collected half as many seashells as Eve did. If Eve collected three-fourths of a bag of seashells, how many seashells did she collect? So if Eve collected three-fourths and Lily collected half as many seashells, so we're trying to find a half of three-fourths. So when you're trying to find a fraction of a fraction or a fraction of a whole number, all you have to do is multiply them together. This is what you'll most likely see in most of the word problems for multiplying fractions is them um, asking you to find a fraction of a fraction or a fraction of a whole number. So we're trying to find a half of three-fourths. That means we're going to multiply. Remember, your denominators do not need to be the same when you multiply. All you have to do is multiply straight across. 3 times 1 is 3, 4 times 2 is 8. 3 and 8 cannot be divided by the same number, so this cannot be simplified, and 3 eighths would be your answer. So how many seashells did Lily collect? She collected 3 eighths of a bag. Because all we found there was half and 3 fourths. All right, this one says, whoa. Three-fifths of the students at a community college are enrolled in biology class. Of the students enrolled in biology, half are enrolled in chemistry class as well. So how many students are enrolled in chemistry class? So we know that three-fifths are of the students at this college are in biology. And of these three-fifths who are in biology, half are in chemistry. How many are in chemistry? 
So what we need to do is we're trying to find half of three-fifths. And when we're trying to find a fraction of a fraction, all we need to do is multiply. Three times one equals three. Five times two equals two. So three tenths are in chemistry. That's half cursive, half print. <laughs> All right, let's just read through this one. The dogs at the pet store eat three-fourths of a bag of pet food each day. The cats at the pet store eat one-third as much as the dogs. So how much pet food do the cats eat each day? So all we're trying to find here is one-third of three-fourths. So all we need to do is multiply them together, which would give you three-twelfths. And that can be simplified. I'm not in the back three, anybody chose my three. We're not gonna go through that right now. So the only other thing that we need to talk about is multiplying mixed numbers. So this is still when you're trying to find a fraction of a whole number, a fraction of a fraction, you'll multiply the mixed numbers together. So if I have um, three and two thirds, times two and one fourth. So before we can multiply these, we have to turn them into improper fractions. We cannot just do three times two and the fraction times the fraction. We have to make these into improper fractions and then multiply. So the steps to make these into improper fractions, I'm gonna start with three and two thirds. I'm gonna do three times three, which gives me nine, and then nine plus two, which gives me 11, Keep my original denominator. So we'll go over here and do it to the two and one fourth. Four times two is eight. Eight plus one is nine. Keep my original denominator. So now I can just multiply straight across. 11 times nine, 99. Three times four is 12. And this is an improper fraction, so you'll have to convert it into a mixed number by setting it up in long division. Okay, so that is all things multiplying fractions and mixed numbers. It's really important that you identify multiplication of fractions in a word problem by thinking about um, finding a fraction of something, so finding a fraction of a fraction, or finding a fraction of a whole number, and that's when you will multiply. All right. Thank you, and good luck on your school net practice.